Dario Valenza has more than doubled his workforce this year. We started the year with 15 and we're looking to end the year with 35. He isn't the only one hiring. 366,000 people started or resumed a job in November, pushing the participation rate above pre-pandemic levels. The end of lockdown saw the number of hours worked rise, pushing the underemployment rate down two percentage points. All this added up to the second lowest unemployment rate in 13 years, and it could drop further. The RBA is now predicting it'll get to 4% by the end of 2023. These would be very, very good outcomes. Australia has not experienced a sustained period of unemployment at levels at this, at this level since the early 1970s. The demand for workers is strengthening and with borders open, bosses hope recruiting is going to get easier. No change to the, the outer hull surface. Mr Valenza's newest staff member moved from New Zealand two weeks ago. I had a flag up on LinkedIn that um, said I was open for work and I, I, got a, I got a nice message from Dario asking if I'd consider moving over to Sydney and, and, and joining the, the team. But experts don't think overseas workers will rush back, which could be good news for people already in a job. We're going to be in a period of a constrained labour market for some time and with that's going to come a build up of wages pressure. As new variants like Omicron take hold, Australia's economic recovery rests on people not being locked out of their jobs. It's something workers, employers and the government can only hope for. Rachel Papazzoni, ABC News.